What the hell is going on? And why was I born in such a chaotic time period? We have to really look at the deeper spiritual meaning behind world events, or we're going to go out of our minds trying to understand it. So it is the Aquarian age, and we all clamor to be here. You might not have remembered that because we forget many things when we get to a certain age, five or six. We forget why we came. We forget our spirituality, some of us all together, and we get really planted into the Maya and the materialism of the world. But we all knew what we were in for and the challenge of the times, the inner transformation of the human being. And that is what is really happening behind all of this chaos. So if we ponder and know some of the things about the spiritual cycle, it will help us get through it. Number one, when there is a spiritual uprising, when a lot of people come who are evolved, the opposing force doesn't like that. So the spirituality rises and the opposing force rises. And that's the way it has always happened through cycles of time. I mean, you could think of it this way. When you have a garden and you plant flowers, you also get weeds. One comes with the other. And in spiritual evolution, it goes up and around the tree of life. We go through cycles and each time it gets better and better and we acquire more wisdom. And it is important, number two, to know that many spiritual beings are on this earth. You cannot look to social media to find out this truth, the highlights, that there are many of us here. But we are here. And that is a truly wonderful thing. So don't pay that much attention to the negativity of the social media. Number three, disruption, disharmony, pain. That is the great awakener. And it somehow, I wish it didn't, but it's true. It, it brings out the hidden divinity. It inspires us to change, to seek, to become more spiritually evolved. The uplift is not possible without the pain. That's another way of saying it. The teachers have left us. That is another thing about these cycles. We are on our own, free will, and to find the path of return all by ourselves. Next is the common goal. And what is that common goal? That is the idea that we are one soul and that the spiritual force is really goodwill. And we are to become the group of world servers to help each other and to understand that we're all one. And We've had many, many cycles like this before through time. Just reading Alice Bailey, that great teacher who founded the Arcane School, in 1939, when she brought in many of these ageless, ageless wisdom, the World War II was starting, and there was a great fear that they weren't going to survive. Her husband has said it was the scariest time on earth. And here we are again, the scariest time on earth. So know the cycle, know what happens in the cycle, know the spiritual significance, the alchemy of it. So you are not frightened in the, to the belief that this is the destruction of it all, destruction before creation. The evolution of the soul requires people to wake up and pain wakes us 
up. And Alice Bailey has said this beautiful, beautiful saying, the souls of men and women are one, and I am one with them, and I seek to love, not to hate. I seek to serve. I seek to heal, not to hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form of life and all events and bring to light the love that underlies the happenings of the times. And so know that this cycle will again end and a new cycle will begin. So we have to survive it with spiritual understanding.